Interesting, though, uh, Mr. Nash, is <laughs> Donald didn't start out to be a duck. That's right. Uh, it was a little girl. Because I uh, would say Murray had a little lamb with this voice, but it was a goat that started me doing it. <laughs> no, Donald was first a goat. Well, I imitated him, and uh, he'd go, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, one day I thought I could say words with it. <laughs> and uh, my friends laughed, and even at the age of 13, I had a feeling I had something that just might pay off. Oh, and boy, did it ever. <laughs> did you have to audition for uh, Walt Disney? Well, he happened to hear me on a radio program. And uh, he heard me doing all my imitations, and uh, little Mary reciting Mary Had a Little Lamb later on and quacked like a duck. Yeah. And that suggested a new character for him. And that, and so Donald Duck was, uh, was born. But you're also the voice of Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That's right. Now, is that tough to do four different voices in? No, well, I can't do them all at once, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but here's one of them, uh, uh, greeting Donald. You boys are so good, you gonna be a good boy today? Well, I'll try to. <laughs> you have also, have you done, you have done Mickey Mouse on occasion. Yes, I did you? a few uh, pictures with, uh, uh, when Walt was away on trips. Right, because Walt was Mickey Mouse. That's right, he was the original. Ah. Voice of Mickey. How, how difficult is Mickey to do? Well, very easy. It's uh, falsetto, you know. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's funny. We see those cartoons, and I guess we have always just taken those voices for granted. But that's one of the biggest businesses in show business, isn't it? The vo what they call the voiceovers, that's who do it. all of the cartoons and, uh, and of course, Donald yeah. being one of the most famous. Of course. We always uh, record the voices first, then they draw to fit them. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Have you dubbed Donald in other languages? Because he's... Yes. Uh, How do you do that? Well, uh, <clears throat> we usually have a foreign coach, you know, from those countries. Yeah. And uh, you'd pronounce words. I'd write them out phonetically. Some, though, I have studied, like uh, Spanish. Right. And uh, German, but German is very tough for a duck to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All I can remember now, or Donald can, is... Uh, Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, Auf Wiedersehen. Ah. <laughs> Was Walt a, a ta taskmaster? I mean, did he watch over you? Well, not, it, not tar entirely with me. He could be with others. Oh, he's the artist, you know. They, he's one that wants to get that uh, drawing just right, yeah. the personality. Of course, uh, yeah, my particular work in recording, uh, I uh, go to the studio, look at a storyboard, and the uh, director will explain to me uh, just how we want to get the right expressions and all that. Then we make several retorting, recordings, <laughs> but uh, sometimes we make it just right. Is Donald done now quite often still? Well, he's... Uh, he had been uh, retired for some time, but this latest picture, uh, uh, Mickey's uh, Christmas Carol, right. brought him brought back. Brought him back, yeah. That's right. And uh, there are some more stories in the making for him. Yeah. There was one country in the world where Donald Duck was banned. It was Finland, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, and uh, accused of uh, not wearing clothes. Well, I listen. Uh, <laughs> You know, he has feathers all over his system. I tell you, I don't know how they can figure that out. That's the strangest <laughs> thing uh, I've ever heard. Well, I wish you and Donald uh, 50 more happy ones. Gee, you've brought us a lot of oh, enjoyment, Mr. You. Nash. And a great pleasure to see you. Thank you. Clarence Ducky Nash. Thank you.